So I showed another vision. In this vision, I saw beautiful ladies. That's what I was shown. Beautiful ladies. And then on their face, I saw some boils. Boils on their face and in places where people could see them. On their face, around their chin, around their arms. Now, these boils on them were contagious. Now, the ladies were aware that these boils were contagious, but they did not keep themselves away from public uh, places, from crowded places. They rather went into the crowd, or rather went into crowded places with the, what? With the mindset of trying to infect a lot of people, with the mindset of trying to get a lot of people infected with this thing. Now, these boils... The boils I was shown on the face of these ladies, I was shown ladies, I don't know why, I don't know what they are doing, I don't, I, I don't know what they are doing, but beautiful ladies, they had boils on their face and open places around their arms, it was contagious, there was some kind of fluid coming out of these boils, and we, they rather went into crowded places, crowded areas and all that with and with a mindset, with an intention to infect a lot of people. With an intention to infect a lot of people. And then that was the first part. The next part I was shown, I, started, um, I was shown people that, that they themselves started distancing themselves from anybody they saw boils on. People started distancing themselves from anybody they saw, they saw boils on. You know, it's a very important time, like I say, it's a very important time to pray before you get out of your house. It's a very important time to pray before you get, you step out of your house because you don't know what is waiting out there for you. Some of you are going to work. Some of you use public transport. You don't know who sat in that seat before you are going to sit in that seat. It's, it's a lot of things, you know. And particularly in 2024, in the month of August, if you have opened your ears to listen, we are not only hearing about one thing. They are talking about MPOX, variant 1, variant 2. They are, talking about, they are talking about triple E. We don't even know what it means, what triple E is. Some are saying bird flu. Some are saying bird flu and all sorts of things. And I mean, it's sad and it's shocking that all of these things are happening all, all of a sudden after the Paris Olympics, where they showed certain things in the opening ceremony and particularly the closing ceremony. The opening ceremony showed us, hmm? showed us a dark figure riding on a horse, trying to depict the, 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 the four horsemen. Hmm? In the Bible. These things are not, they, they are not joking. They know what they are doing. And for it, for all these things, the, this news and all these things coming up just after the Paris Olympics, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's sketchy. Because we know if you really want to infect everybody, there has to be a point where the people will be infected to take it to their homes, to take it to their home countries. Hmm? I'm, I'm saying some of these things. The, 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 for some of these things to spread, there has to be a, point, a place where a, these people gather. All of them are infected and then they carry whatever it is to their home countries, their people and all that, and then it starts going viral worldwide. It has to be, there has to be a channel of spreading some of these things, and it's very sad. Just after the closing of the Paris Olympics, all of this started coming up. Mpox and all this, this is mad. They are closing, the, some people have, some towns are being closed in the United States, they say triple E, and we don't even know what triple E means. All of a sudden, in 2019, it was one. It was C19, it was only one. 2024, we, we are hearing almost three or four of them at the same time. What's going on? 
and particularly at the Paris Olympics opening ceremony and even the closing ceremony where they are depicting certain images and I don't know what's, what's, what's with the, uh, the uh, Olympics. We saw what happened in Birmingham in 20, uh, I don't remember the year, the one they did in um, Birmingham. Also depicting some bull and all this, his face is covered, his face, the, the thing has been removed from his face and all these people, they know what they're doing. So when somebody says this, some of these things are natural, it's funny, it's not natural. There are people who are intentionally, people whose hearts have been captured by the devil himself, people who hate humanity. They are the ones who engineer some of these things just to honor life people because somebody has a stupid mindset that uh, the world population has to be reduced for some stupid reasons. Are you wiser than God? Isn't anything God created, anything God created knows how to balance itself. Everything God created. You see the animals there in the wild. Do, uh, do we have something like overpopulations? God himself put the thing together and he knows how he's managing the thing. I don't know when human beings saw themselves as God to try to, to try to decide how many people have to be on our life for the earth to maintain some balance, some, some, some perfect number. Do you know how to create life? Hmm? So what's going on? Sometimes you think about this thing, you get very furious. Mortal men who fall sick, who die, who, who cry, now want to play God. Why? Because you have allowed the, the enemy to trick you. You have allowed the devil to trick you. And you are doing his bidding. Huh? A lot of these things are engineered. People reprobate minds reprobate minds human beings with the minds of animals that's it they don't think straight you think straight you will not try to destroy humanity because you can't you did not create it hmm? you want to exterminate people for what who are you to decide who lives and who dies hmm? and using bio weapons to do it all of this thing is not a coincidence. It's carefully planned and everything is planned, carefully planned and executed. I'm telling you today, if you are lucky to hear this, if you are lucky to receive this video, please open your eyes and start praying. This is why we are telling you to receive Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. A lot of things have been told you there in the book of Revelation, but people are refusing to read. Just after the Paris Olympics, all of this thing is coming up, all of this thing is blowing up. Hmm? And another excuse will come again to put needles into people, which will, which will even be far worse than whatever they are claiming is here. Whatever they are claiming is a natural thing. It's not a natural thing. So, be careful. Pray before you step out of your house. Pray before you step out of your house. And the, even the, 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 the part that is even um, an issue is children. No, a, ch a child doesn't know to distance itself from, from child A or child B because they are seeing some ball on child A or they are seeing some ball on child B. They, they mingle with everything and then come home with whatever. Hmm? So your children, hmm? anoint your children before they step into that school. Anoint your children before they, they leave your house so that they don't go and bring it to affect you. Maybe you can, you know, make sure you are not doing certain things. You are watchful. You have prayed. Anoint your children before they go into that school because you don't know what is happening there in the school. You don't know whose child is bringing it there. Hmm? You don't know what careless parents will not pray for their children, will not cover them with their blood, and that their children will bring it into the school and then your child will also carry it into your house. Children. For some of the time ahead of us, you have to train, you have to orient your children to be able to, to, be able to handle some of, the, some of the situations that are going to come up. I'm telling you. The time of scarcity that is coming, some of, some of the things your children will not have access to, start training them now. Hmm? If they don't have access to the internet for one month, start training them so that they'll be able to handle. Because, you know, it causes a lot of depression and all that because maybe that child grew up with the internet and with tablets and everything around them all the time. So this is the message. Pray. Pray.